I'm going to even do this. Drop forward a little bit, do a little piece. Double back. Alright, and then if you try to come over here, I got to get it here. You just feel. You just feel. Alright, and then going back to my hand control. I, I don't think we need hand control for uh, on bottom. I like calling it elbow control. If your elbows are in, you're okay. But what happens is we're so worried about the stomach, the one on the belly, that tilts happen all the time. So what we do, what I'm doing now with my guys that are working on top is just re wrist tilts. So we just be laid, we're just laid in, you're like, ah, tired. Or we break it down really hard, and then we let it build up, and we're just like this. And the guy, I mean, nine times out of ten, he's gonna do what? Go there. And I go here. And then I can spin. Boom. I can come here, roll through, roll through tilt, go to one tilt, come back this way. But I'm riding. You know what I mean? And I'm looking. And I, we hit, hit this. Who cares if we roll through? Alright? Like, that's fine. I go to look for your other stuff. Stuff. I like going tilt, I like hooking this angle on top. So we'll, we'll go over that here a little bit. So, back on bottom, I just, we, get, I, we used to get tilted a lot, and I used to get tilted a lot, like even wrestling with Fox. Uh, and, and that's what, you know, wrestling with Fox is one of the best things uh, out there for me, just because I, I feel like what he's doing sometimes. And, and he does stuff, he does stuff different than a lot than like the normal. They do it, and, and I think that's that was good. I, I got to learn from the, just wrestling from him with him how to do some stuff. But uh, he, so we, you know, if I came in here like this, you know, I was done, and people we were done here, boom, till well, they just ride us and, and, and uh, ball and chain and all that stuff. So we decided to start doing get your elbow back here, fight, 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 and then when we get to our feet, start finding things. So what happens is a lot of kids, and this is good, like. A lot of kids fight here. Alright, I I don't know if it was my hips. I don't know. Anytime I was like in here and tried to fight hands, I, I would never get away. So what I I just I started doing here. I just turned and got hit. The same thing with, with it's almost like a squat. Look where his elbows are. And and people fight hands here all the time and they get away. Alright, the good guys are gonna win to return you here. The guy that really wants to fight you can win to return you. Alright, because your hips are right here, unless you're blocking. You know, that stuff can go switch. You know, but my hips were never really heavy enough. Some people got heavy hips. My hips were never really heavy enough to, to wrestle in here really good. So I had to wrestle here. So what happens is look at his elbow already. Alright. So it goes away from his body. Okay? Just like on a, a single leg, you're never stronger here. Right? Than you are here. Or even you know, on your double legs or anything like that. So that was fine. My theory kind of is here, and then I get my hips up, and then so all that pressure is back here. It's on him. It's on him. All right. Then I take two hands on one. Two hands on one. So at one on one. If that dude gets this on three, and we do it two, tilt again. All right. So I go two hands on one, and I put everything on the outside. We put everything on the outside, outside pocket. Two rows in. Back pocket. Back pocket. Put everything in the back pocket. Or outside. Take it in with legs, take it in and take it out. Take it out. We get here and here. And one of the kids the other day was like, Coach, you get sucked back? Here you can. Like, get sucked. Hey, you poop back. You know, that type of stuff. Or from the hips. But here it's a little bit harder because he's just sucking back. You know, I can, I can now still hear. You know, like the skin hits. And here I get boom, boom, boom. And then this happens a lot. You hit pipes. And the good thing about hip height is that it kind of blocks like containment. I know a lot of that they, they, they when they lose their hands, they just run and they grab a single leg or, or anything like that. So what happens here, I try to be conscious of where my arms are. So I know he's probably going to do that. So I get my arms and then block. Almost like down block as I'm getting away. Even if I do this. Here, I know he's coming. I let him teach you. Right here. So it's a feel. If that guy changes level, like in your stance, if he level changes, you level change. I have to level change. If not, he'll last room. Right? Same thing here. Here, here, if he level changes, he's probably dropping down to the left. So I level change with him. Gotcha. 